Or was I overestimating? Now things get interesting. Security breach in mainframe area. Possible breakout attempt. We got no response from them. I'm investigating. We have a security breach. Warning, fleeing prisoner. Surrender immediately or you will be shot. Ah, the game only gave me one load of ammo. And what else? Did they give me a pistol? Hmm. Yeah, so I have that. I have so pick that to that, take you out on two. That that was three. Can I not? Oh, apparently I can only quick set two weapons so well, so I'll set set assault rifles one and And the tempo of the game notably changes as soon as you have a gun because it stops being a sneak em up and then. Ah! Well, okay. I'll just take some health. Press E to debris. Debris. Oh, and I have a shotgun now too. You want to keep your sword rifle? I think I think I'll take the shotgun to two. So we need to get up there. So what that means is we get back into jumping puzzles. This game really can't decide what genre it wants to be, but it's one of its charms, actually. I noticed something. I'm gonna check who's there. Eh, uh, not here. But I know he's around. Well, nothing here. Keep looking. Hmm. Nothing here. Ain't I think we'll switch. Well, not that much to do but stay alert. Okay, Roger that. Listen, I noticed something. I'm gonna check who's there. Boom. Guards are, however, somewhat deaf. And yes, the pistol is probably the best weapon in the game because it provides you with pinpoint accuracy, unlike the assault rifle, which provides you with spraying bullets vaguely in the direction of whoever you want to hurt. Security breach in mainframe area. Runner is Riddick. Prisoner 542 Don't need any health. Because I remembered how to lean. I got time to die! Oh man, that was embarrassing, man. You rolled out with a dramatic declaration and then didn't even get a shot off. 
Come on, dude. You're not. Really, I mean, it really is a very pretty game for 2004. Admittedly, the prettiness is somewhat lessened by the fact I spend most of the game walking around in dark areas. Go down! There's a health box. This is probably a trap. It's, 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 it's too obvious. Maybe it's not. Okay, no, it's just a reward. Ah, I, I think I remember this bit of a game. Okay, yeah. Ouch, that, ouch. I'm actually legit out of ammo. He actually has me pinned down successfully, and as long as I keep him pinned down, I can't move. But, but neither can he. Okay, so that's him down. of health left. This is going to be fun. I feel no shame at all for this. Those are the ones you have to shoot in the back. Yeah, well, I, I botched that combat encounter anyway. Okay, here he comes. Show yourself! And I'm
Yeah. That was dramatic. So this time. Yeah, that was it. It's that they've got a very weakly guarded back. Means you need to use the stealth elements to get behind them, or you get mauled. Viciously, viciously mauled. Okay, so what do we have here? Okay. Up into cell block. back to the cell block where we started things. Special task forces are now entering the cell block. Stay low and do not move. So the special task force is here to shoot everyone. Who they can argue is a threat. I, I'm really just not sure how this place makes any money. Wouldn't it just be cheaper to execute people, considering that this seems to be the inevitable fate of anyone who goes here? Switching turret settings from tranquilizing to lethal. So yeah, we can see here that the, uh, they're deploying the elite guards with the cooler costumes, although they're not really much tougher than the uh, the regulars. Ow! The funny thing is actually, like, if you ever do wind up being shot by a um, turret in non-lethal mode, it's like an instant knockout. It's far more dangerous. Don't really know why they switched them, but of course. This game is very unfriendly to run and gun. To not forget the Taras. I'm really good. I'm screwed. I'm like teeny tiny amount of health left. That is a nanomed cartridge. If I go, yeah, if I just turn my nice, head back the way to where I where I saw, that at least get me up to four. Oh yes, the game is super dark because elements are but because the lighting engine is basically dated, basically based around the assumption that you are you have your end game eye shine. So we'll see what to do with that.
Okay, no, I'm going to have to use that, I think. And like that, my decision was made for me. This time, notice that there's a turret inside the little quarter and try our very, very best to not have it completely shred our health. There really is no refill from this point. So we need to find a radio and tell them to open up that gate so we can get to the place where the pit is. hide in here for flashlights it gets really kind of really hard <laughs> I'm in the light and they're not oh looks like that guy at least <laughs> died from my random snap firing oh, that's something at least Grenade! Where did that grenade come from? Ah. Still doesn't answer where that grenade came from. Because they had that gate shot until... Aha! I do like those outfits. Hey, we're done. Open up. We should be using a shotgun for this. Which instantly has a slightly different light. Literally, he asked for it. Everyone heard me. He he asked for it. It ain't the fall that gets you.
It's a sudden stop at the bottom. So, here's an interesting point. They've been throwing lots of bodies down here, haven't they? So, why is there no one down here? And with that interesting and amusing thought, along with the bloody tan states on the wall, I'll leave you here. Be an exit to Narkland from here. Excessive damage to flashlight power source due to impact. With Estimated no time to failure, six minutes. With the knowledge that there are six minutes until his flashlight fails. And he's in down here, and there's blood on the walls.